30 or 25 magic. Uh, maybe like a B. You might get an A for me. I see it coming. I mean, you kind of saw like the workings of what could be. Like you, you got Franz, who's a really good player in this league. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paolo's taking another step. Um, and then you've got Anthony Black, who's starting to play a lot better as the season's going on. And you've got the bevy of guards of like Suggs and Cole Anthony. So they've got some solid pieces on this team. Like, but they're not a threat. They're just, you know, it's a good story. So it's like the Suns when they won all those games in the bubble. They're like sort of similar to that team where they got promise, but they, they're missing something. Yes, yeah, that guard, that uh, log jam with the guards, they still commenting on that on YouTube on Miles' head, like still to this day. Still. <laughs> Magic Mafia is nothing to play with. Um, Magic Mafia is nothing to play with. And, and, and I think, um, you know, with that, with that team, they've over accomplished. Hey. <laughs> they've over accomplished, though. Uh, you know, Ingles are here humping dudes or whatever. That's interesting. Maybe I'll drop their grade for that to like a, to a B. But I feel like as an A, just based on the fact that the Magics, they've been perennial losers all my life. And outside of that Dwight Howard run with Stan Van Gundy. Um, so they, they they deserve some credit for where they've where they've come and that hopefully that leads to them being able to keep a guy like Paolo in town for them, you know, down around down the line. They're getting good at the right time, is all I'm saying. Um, but they're gonna have to continue to draft well because you're not getting stars to go to Orlando, which is weird because I feel like it's not bad to live in Orlando, but you know, there's also you so you, you just mentioned the Dwight era. Shaq just got his number retired. Do you think Dwight number in Orlando yeah. will be the next one? Yeah, he should. Yeah, he should. If, if, yeah, like Miles said, because if, if if Shaq got it, then why wouldn't Dwight get his? I don't, I don't, I don't see what Shaq's mm-hmm. like impact was. How is he greater? Would yeah. he be like their like second or third best player in history, like behind like Shaq and McGrady? Honestly, I mean, he might even be over McGrady. Honestly, he probably is over McGrady though. If you're being honest about it, yeah, he's, what, he's gonna get his jersey required there, retire there. Oh, oh, who owns that team? Was it is it, is it there is it the Republican guy? And isn't isn't uh isn't Dwight known for uh relations with <laughs> Ain't it the Republican dude? It's it's the Dan Devos? But yeah, and he, he's the one who uh but he's the one who came out, he gave the big donation to the or, or, or Republican the Republican Party or whatever. Something oh, yeah. crazy. People were like upset about that. People yeah. were upset about it, and now Dwight, you know, Dwight, of course, is you know he's he he's swinging the other way. You know, he's hanging out with dudes. He, you know, he's gripping. The, you know, he's over here debowing dudes, gri- gripping guys. He, you know where I'm going with it. So Dwight around Dwight, Dwight I'm like like it's jail outside. So so I, I don't know. I don't know if that guy's gonna retire his jersey. Actually, now I think about it, because that kind of behavior doesn't align with the values of, of, of a man like that. But what he did for the organization. If you want, if you want to be serious, then yes, be serious. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm saying too, like what he did for the organization was way before we knew anything about any zesty behavior. So yeah. <laughs> he might be able to overlook it and be like, "What you did when you were with us." was kosher that's what they should do once you went they to LA do. that's what changed everything up you know mm-hmm. people change up when you go to Hollywood so that might be what it was 